Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. Today we are going to disassemble this double half rack with all the attachments. This particular double half rack has been purchased by a customer and what we're going to do today is to uh, disassemble it and then put it inside this box. Part of the reason that we want to disassemble the double half rack now is because um, in, in the next probably one or two weeks uh, I am expecting the storage racks to be here and we need to clear up all the space over here and to make sure that they have space to install the storage racks when they, they, they come. Unfortunately right now I'm still trying to get a date from them uh, and been very, it has been very difficult for them to confirm a date which is quite frustrating because I did order, I think it was on the 25th or, or at least I paid the deposit on the 25th of January. Now it's the 15th, so Chinese New Year aside, I don't understand why they can't give me a date when they, they want to uh, come and install the storage racks, but it's okay, it's not, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. What I can do is to do whatever things that I can control, which is disassembling this particular double half rack. Uh, once this is um, disassembled, I think we're going to have a lot of space, um, which is good. So we can just put, when, whenever it's on the crate, it's also easier to move. And that's the idea behind um, what we're trying to do today. Okay, inshallah. This is going to be a time-lapse video, so I don't want to bore you to death with the uh, disassembling process. Um, so I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm going to I'm going to take, I, I want to take about half an hour to get everything uh, disassembled. Not too sure whether, whether that's enough time. Uh, obviously, you can't see it on the, on the time-lapse video, but it is, um, it is about 1 o'clock now. So, I should be done by 1.30. But before that, let me just show you what you need to uh, assemble or disassemble the... Um, uh, XF80, uh, any XF80 rack actually. So you need one of this. This is an impact gun. So I have the uh, 24 head right here and also the spanner, which is also 24. And uh, I'm not too sure whether the, uh, what do you call that? The Smith kit has the same um, size. Um, probably they're smaller, I'm not too sure, but I'll probably find out when I, uh, I take it down. Uh, I might or might not take down the Smith kit. Maybe I'll just take down the the, the upright, the frame framework piece, and then I'm just gonna put it on the box, because um, the the customer that bought this is actually my friend, and uh, he's gonna ship this all the way to uh, Johor. And I, because um, you know, for the, for those who have never installed a, an XF80 rack, might be a bit difficult for them. So if I leave the Smith kit on the upright might have might make it easier for for him to assemble it when it's in Johor later on but that's that's a, these are the things that you need to actually uh, assemble or disassemble this particular uh, XF80 uh, double half rack uh, apart from that there's nothing else um, first thing first thing that I have to do is to remove some of the plates that's on the pins and of course the um, safety arms uh, first and then we'll just Probably I'll just take that down first. The uh, just seriously cannot remember what this is called. I think it's the adjustable handles. So I have to take that down first, and then we work from the top all the way to the bottom. Okay, I'm halfway through, but I'm feeling really, really hungry right now. So I just bought my lunch, and I'm gonna eat first, and I'm gonna continue right after. Okay, so I've finished my lunch, and I think I feel like I have a little bit more energy, so I'm gonna continue uh, disassembling this uh, double half rack. Uh, there's not much left to do. Uh, I just have to take out the, uh, the the Smith kit barbell first. Then only I'm gonna take the uprights of, of that particular section. And then I'm gonna take off the um, this top part right here, the cross member. And, and then followed by the storage and then finally the, the middle upright. And after that, uh, just wipe them all down. And, and that's it. OK, 
Okay, so I'm done with the um, dismantling of the double half rack. Uh, it took longer than I expected. Uh, I think I took about two hours, uh, including my lunch, my lunch break. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, uh, there was, I almost had a mishap uh, because towards the end, if you can see the, the video, um, when I was taking out the kettlebell storage uh, rack, um, when I was removing the last piece, I forgot that the two uprights were not held together by anything. So when, it, when I removed the last bolt, you can see that uh, the uprights were wobbling and thank God, Alhamdulillah, it didn't fall over. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, in any case, um, I'm still getting used to using this GoPro camera. The first half before I had my lunch, uh, it, it captured it as a time lapse. But um, after my lunch, I thought I had set set the camera for time lapse, but apparently it recorded uh, normally. So I had one hour of 4K footage of me dismantling the the double half rack. So that's that's a huge file, and I'm not too sure whether or not my little laptop can handle the the file size um, so i'm gonna have to speed it up uh, post uh, post editing um, anyway uh, let me just show you the um, so i've packed everything in the box uh, let me see uh, yep there you go okay so not all the pieces can fit inside the particular rack i i knew that before i started uh, because this is a 235 um, centimeter long uh, pallet and um, the longest part is about 2.4 2.5 something like that so but at least we managed to fit everything inside and now that you know uh, everything is in in one box i can just wheel it off anyway uh, anywhere in in the warehouse using the pallet jack so um, that essentially um, will make my job easier especially when the storage rack comes in and as you can see behind me right there the space is clear so remember what we're going to do is we're going to fill up these walls that you see all the way there uh, with the storage rack and behind me right here uh, we're going to have the platform and the mezzanine floor where i will do my where i think i'll do my my work so my desk is going to be up there so i have no excuse anymore i have to still take the stairs to the uh, mezzanine floor in any case that's it for this particular episode thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification um, we're gonna have well we're gonna have some content right so uh, thank you again for your support uh, all this while and i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs thumbs up and uh, do share it with your friends i need to hit those uh, numbers for me to find, uh, to to monetize this channel uh, so inshallah one day thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye